Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Ghost Layers Report. I'm of course Ryan, right here from Tokyo, Japan. There's been a report floating around for a while now that um, I've been just a little hesitant to uh, do a video on because of the sensitivity uh, of this, but it is something that's gaining more and more attention and I feel that it, that it does need to be reported on and get this information out there. Okay, so here's, here's what's going on, right? 36% of Fukushima children now have abnormal growths from radiation exposure. Now, I know the first thing some people are going to say, of course not. This is not happening. But, I don't know. There's enough evidence to support this, okay? Now, this came out from a report, from, um, the sixth report of Fukushima Prefecture Health Management Survey, which was published by the Fukushima Radioactive Contamination Symptoms Research. And we need to break down some of these numbers, okay? So, out of 38,114 children examinated, that would be 19,036 boys, 18,663 girls, all right? 201 had nodules graded A2, similar, uh, smaller than 0.5 millimeters. 100, 184 had nodules graded B, larger than 5 millimeters. Okay, that's with the nodules breakdown. Breakdown of size of cyst, again, out of 38,114 examinated, 12,414 had cyst smaller than 5 millimeters, uh, 969 had cyst graded A2, smaller than 20 millimeters, 1 had cyst grade B, larger than 20 millimeters. That is a little d disturbing to me to have um, that many children with this many growths. All right. There's a lot more detail with the numbers. I'll put links in the description box below so you can take a closer look at some of those. But I did want to get the, the some of the raw facts into this, this video here. Now... Australian pediatrician, outspoken anti-nuclear um, advocate, Dr. Helen Caldicott, who has spoken about the gross, has said that the following things. It's extremely rare to find cysts in thyroid nodules in children. Um, this is an extremely large number of abnormalities defined in children. You would not expect abnormalities to appear so early within the first year or so. Therefore, one can, as, can assume that they must have received a high dose of radiation. She also said it's impossible to know from what officials in Japan are saying what these lesions are. Um, she goes on to say that it's a very high possibility that these are cancerous and will grow larger. But we still have the line from the Japanese government that everything's under control. There's no signs of growths or anything like that with people in Fukushima Prefecture. Everything's fine. There's nothing to really worry about. But we have these children, 36%, all right? showing up with these growths. You know, it, it it becomes harder and harder here in Japan to watch all this go on and watch children children suffer in such a manner. And then you see the Japanese government restarting nuclear power plants, 
you see the Japanese government nationalizing TEPCO you see the Japanese government giving TEPCO huge bailouts you see TEPCO saying everything's fine we have everything under control you see the Japanese you see TEPCO blaming the Japanese government saying you were in our way that's why things got so bad you see we you see the official um, report coming out from the Japanese parliament that says this disaster was totally man-made and TEPCO is completely responsible for this but do they do much to handle the aftermath of all these people suffering little children having to, to go through this there's not a lot of medical support going on for this. No statements from the Japanese government. When reports come out about this, they're totally silent. You know, so what... Hmm. What are we here in Japan do about this? You, you see the situation. Fukushima nuclear power plant. Still not under control. Still puking out radiation. But I did want to get this report out. I want to get this information out to you. Like I said, I'll provide several links in the description box below. I want you to take a look at this a little bit more deeply. I want all of you to analyze this a little bit more. And then, you know, I'd like to see people who, you know, have a hard time um, wrapping their head around the, the uh, gravity of the situation here in Japan. Refute these numbers and statistics and tell the world that everything's still you know, okay here that we really have nothing to worry about and people are overreacting and people are being alarmist and all these things when um, all these independent studies continuously come out telling the exact opposite story from the official government line okay so let's get a bit of a discussion started on this one. I want to make this video kind of short because the discussion on this topic will be much more intriguing than me sitting here going on and on about it, okay? So I presented some basic raw numbers for you. I have this information out to you now. Please spread this video around. Please put it on different forums, websites, tweet it, um, tell other people about it. Let's get a discussion going about this problem. These children are thyroid gross. From radiation exposure. So until next time, of course, this is me, Ryan, here reporting in Tokyo, Japan. Until next time.